Hi everyone, I'm Laurentio and in this video I'm going to talk about all ATV Off-Road Fury games on the PS2. ATV Off-Road Fury is an interesting game. It's good and bad at the same time. The physics for example aren't good, but they are enjoyable. The stiff ragdoll physics aren't top tier, but still look great. The controls are good when you play the game casually, but if you want to progress in the game, you will have a hard time with the controls. They aren't always the most comfortable. Also you have to preload jumps. When you jump you have to be careful how much you accelerate and how you angle your jump so that you land it. In many races, if you want to win, you will pretty much have to memorize each jump in the game. There are 11 tracks and there are over 20 ATVs in the game, each with different stats. And you can feel that each ATV controls different due to the different stats. As game modes you get races both on indoor and outdoor tracks, freestyle arenas, a practice mode and a career mode where you can customize your ATV and your clothes and compete. There is no story in the game, it's just some events that have continuity. But you don't really need a story in this game, a story would only ruin it. You'll see what I'm talking about later. And I want to emphasize that the races and especially the free roam maps are so good, only those will offer you hours of fun. It's impressive how huge the free roam maps are. Also in the 4 freestyle maps, if you try to leave the area, this happens. And I find it cool. So yeah, the game has some flaws, or rather some you can necessarily call them flaws. You can necessarily call the fact that you have to memorize tracks a flaw, but aside of some bummers, the game is impressive. In ATV Off-Road Fury 2, the gameplay stays the same, but with a few enhancements. The AI has been improved and controls are made easier to use. Also this game has mini games too, and back in the day you could play the mini games with friends in multiplayer. You could also race and free roam in the multiplayer. The game is awesome. But I have to warn you that in this game too you will have to memorize the tracks if you want to finish the game. Off-Road Fury 3, even if it sounds the same on paper, when you play it, it's a much much better game. The track designs are way better, especially when you look at the free roam maps. The controls are also improved, you still need to be careful how much you accelerate, which gives a more realistic feel to the game and makes it harder. But don't worry, if you play the game on the easiest difficulty, you won't have that many problems with the game. But for challenge seeking individuals, the harder difficulties are for them. You need to memorize the tracks and know when to throttle and when to go softer with your acceleration. And along the nicely made tracks, the customization options make the game an incredible one. As game modes, you get the same ones from the previous ones, you still don't get a story but interestingly enough, the game will keep you hooked even without a story. In this game, simply participating in championships is enough to keep you hooked and have fun in the game. Also the free roam maps, as, and actually especially the free roam maps, will offer you hours of fun. Also the game has a track creator. Offroad Fury 4, even if gameplay wise is a better game, it has something very important missing. The free roam, which sucks. The free roam was awesome in the previous titles. But even if it sucks to not have free roam, I still had fun in the game. ATV Offroad Fury 4 not only that uses the same great content the franchise polished along this years, but it also has so much content that it exceeds the title. This time you get to race in ATVs, bikes, buggies and trucks. Also this is the first ATV Offroad game with a story, but the CGI and the story are cringe as usual in racing games. It is there only to give some purpose to the game and not really tell you a decent story. That's why I said earlier that this franchise doesn't really need a story to be fun. But hey, the story isn't in the way. And I appreciate that they try to integrate the story into the game. The gameplay mechanics are roughly the same, meaning that you get the same fun gameplay as before. This time they added some improved graphics and lots of varied content. For example, there are 60 tracks in the game and up to 50 championship modes. Oh, and another addition is the anger options. Similar to NASCAR Thunder 2004, this game has rivals. 
opponents have an icon above them. When you hit an opponent, the opponent's icon will turn red and that opponent will be more aggressive towards you. Also the game has a photo mode and all the other great content from before, like for example the track editor. The game is amazing. If you haven't tried it yet, you definitely should. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.